Coronavirus outbreak are slamming financial markets here in the U.S. and around the world. S&P plummeted nearly 10 percent, while the Dow sank 2,300 points, or 10 percent. Its biggest loss since 1987. While stocks continue to slide, KPI X5's John Ramos reports there are those who think this may actually be a golden opportunity if you have the money to invest. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett has a saying, when others are greedy, be fearful, and when others are fearful, be greedy. Well, there certainly is a lot of fear in the economy these days. Each morning, the news from Wall Street is bleak. In the blink of an eye, the stock market lost nearly 25% of its value. In Lafayette, Jared Solomon knows people who have lost a lot of money. It's crazy, like to see every morning, it's just all in the red. It's, it's like a little stressful, and I, I think it's a little it's panic. It is panic, said St. Mary's College finance professor, Dr. Lawrence Souza, a panic worsened by the uncertainty of the pandemic. You have to go back to 9-11, you know, or the financial crisis to find the speed. But we haven't seen uh, this level of uh, supply disruption and de de demand disruption uh, probably ever. Dr. Souza says stocks were already overpriced and the crisis is causing a correction that would have come anyway. And he's convinced the damage already done will create a recession. But for how long is what financial experts are asking themselves. Is this 2008, 2009 all over again? And we don't think so. At JP King Advisors in Walnut Creek, Scott Horton advocates for a diverse portfolio to protect clients in moments like this. He acknowledges that people have taken a beating on their stocks, but says those with money to invest should look at the market as an opportunity for bargains. At some point, prices get so low that people start looking at things and they look past the negative news because prices are so low. This is especially true if people believe the outbreak will end fairly soon. Horton says China's infection rate is already declining, and amazingly enough, its stock market has already recovered most of its losses. And so if their stock market is any indicator of what may be ahead for ours, you know, it was a, a very speedy recovery. Dr. Souza believes the severity of a recession will depend on the damage to major industries like airlines and retailers and the government's willingness to stimulate the economy. There is no timeline for that, but a recovery cannot start until the pandemic is brought under control. In Lafayette, John Ramos, KPI X5. Well, I'm afraid there's some more bad economic news. The Asian markets just opened for uh, Friday trading. Stocks in both Japan and South Korea have each fallen 6%.